The 10th convocation of the University of Science and Technology Meghalaya was successfully held in the presence of a galaxy of vice chancellors, academicians and other eminent personalities. In the 10th convocation, two cultural icons of Assam and Meghalaya, Sri Zubin Kark and Sri Lo Majao were conferred honorary delayed degrees for their outstanding contribution in the field of art and culture, outreach activities, peace, harmony and development of society. The convocation was enlightened by the award of degrees and gold medals. The honorary delete degrees were conferred upon Sri Zubin Garg and Sri Lo Majao. A total of 1639 graduates were awarded degrees, out of which 17 scholars were awarded the PhD degrees. It becomes all the more important for the recipients of the degree when the degree is awarded to them by a university. Sri Lau Majo and Life Management System. In this chaotic search of knowledge beyond the sea of wisdom, always remember to live life responsibly. Also, when life becomes too real, take a little time to dream. I never thought I'll get a doctorate in my life because I was a dropout from BS from BSc Bibura College. I was studying there. I didn't complete because I my ambition was different. My dream was different. Uh, it's good to have a doctorate degree without having a graduation. <laughs> Jobin Garg has received the honorary doctorate, and I am assuring you, Jobin Garg, that is we have USTM have unlocked his future of receiving many such awards and I am very sure ah, yeah, that in the coming days he may receive the Padma Shri and even Lo Majo that you will prove worthy of the degree conferred on you. I do solemnly. 906 students were awarded postgraduate degrees and 716 students were awarded undergraduate degrees. A total of 1639 graduates were awarded degrees, out of which 17 scholars were awarded the PhD degrees. Students were awarded with some of the important awards like the Visitor's Best Student Award, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Best PG Student Award, etc. Also, this year, the Chancellor's Best Student Award went to Mustafizur Rahman, a student of B.Sc. Chemistry. Also, the P.A. Sangma Best UG Student Award went to Sujata Kumari from B. Farm. Your vision and the commitment to education, especially for the upliftment of the poor and weaker section of the society. Today, uh, we have attended the 10th convocation as a witness and uh, the university has invited us as a guest of honor. So we are really very happy and delighted. The communication, uh, the convocation was totally on a professional manner. And I have seen that uh, the presence of diversity is very much there. Inclusiveness was there. More women students are there. Inclusive all the seven sister state representation. Uh, even some students I have seen, they are from UP, Bihar and other states also. So really very happy to see the convocation. Till the date you were living, no, there were a set of people who were living for you. And today you will be starting to live for others. So the society, the nation, as well as your institute would surely have higher expectations from you. A university who is doing such wonderful job, I am not capable enough to advise uh, to any university working in this grandeur. But yes, I would uh, like to share my concern that now the whole uh, Bharat is talking about Atmanirbhar Bharat. 
so that is we need to decolonize ourselves that's decolonization should be for the thought process also and that starts with attire also that most of the universities in um, india they get rid of this academic robes uh, that reflects the british uh, uh, colonized uh, still academic system so i would very humbly rather than requesting or just share my concern then next time onwards let there be bharatiya poshak i was so happy that the staff members they were wearing the indigenous attire the girls you know under their academic robes they were there in indigenous northeast costumes attire I was very happy so i would say this is your yatra this is your journey it is starting of the journey so don't end it without service to the society our degrees has no value so i will appeal that you make your knowledge and your uh, skills you have learned for the service of the society in the rest of your life so or we could not accommodate large number of students uh, for admission however when usdm came up i think usdm could uh, accommodate uh, many students desire of the society or many parents wanted their children to uh, study uh, uh, for go go for higher study so that was the one thing i really loved it and in a very short time it has come up nicely and uh, its uh, campus landscape beautifully maintained it's really uh, from the bottom of my heart i love it i have always seen usdm being very ceremonial in all its uh, programs i was here during the vice chancellor's conference also and at this 10th convocation of the university i found that the students they are very enthusiastic about getting their degrees and the way they were honored by the dignitaries who were present on the dais it is really remarkable uh, and i feel that the students they have been motivated by this convocation and what we i also as a vice chancellor feel that our universities uh, uh, which are awarding degrees and our students who have graduated they must become very good citizens as well so i am sure that with the education which they have received from ustm from different types of professional and basic courses they will definitely be good citizens for the country and they will get national as well as international fame all my good wishes to all the students and to usdm apart from this 23 gold medals were awarded to the best poch graduates of the respective departments while 22 gold medals were given away to the best undergraduate students from different departments life actually begins from today onwards after you get this degree i have a metaphor for this that of the fish in the aquarium dr abdul kalam always said everybody has a right to see the dreams but it is not any important to see the dream with your closed eyes but uh, really i am very much impressed to come here when i entered into the university whatever the aura i have seen and the main thing is that the mission the university has taken the university is giving about 20% free ship to the students that, that is really a great job for the poor community which the university is doing university is really believing in management of higher education university is really believing in reorientation of higher education university is really believing in quality of higher education this is my second visit to the university of science technology meghalaya uh, first i visited when the all india uh, university vice chancellors conference was there two years ago and this uh, for the last 16 years i could see that this university is has remarkable progress uh, of course it is a university of science technology meghalaya but i see a great possibility for this university to extend beyond science as also between sciences for example interdisciplinary sciences and technology humanities and social sciences in the years to come of course you have rural development uh, psychology such subjects are there so it is not just uh, going to be a science and technology university in the years to come you will find liberal arts rural development and this is catering to the requirements of the uh, society at large in the northeastern region Uh, the great uh, uniqueness which i see in this university is the diversity among student population and teacher population 
I have seen teachers and students uh, from all over the country and definitely in, in the Northeast. And uh, there is also a possibility uh, from uh, other Asian countries uh, for uh, bringing students over in, in this university. So in, maybe in 10 years, this could be a, a multidisciplinary education and research university in the, in the concept of a uh, holistic university. So uh, the, in terms of um, the student achievements, in terms of the uh, programs, this university is unique and I see a great promise uh, for this university in the Northeast to come up. It could be definitely uh, a national and global university in the years. The only advice I would like to um, give is uh, probably what you have to concentrate on uh, retention of teachers. Uh, teachers, um, uh, of course, teachers have to teach. In addition to that, they have to do research. But uh, only when we retain teachers of high caliber in uh, a university can uh, retain its stand. And therefore, all attempts in private university system, what I see is that the teachers, uh, if they get an opportunity, if they go, uh, they go to the public university system even now. So there has to be a method by which the teachers of the qualified teachers, uh, uh, qualified and experienced teachers should be retained in the private university system. That is definitely a challenge, but this has to be done.